the police were saviors or villains, depending on which side you were on. The police saved our lives and saved that company. These guys would have killed me and would definitely have destroyed that plant if they could have got, got in amongst it. Police, outnumbered around two to one, pushed the pickets 50 yards further from the main gate. My mum, who was a, a born-again Christian, was against me. She thought the strike was wrong, she thought I was wrong, she was reading the sun. And she saw me standing in the street and I was black and blue where I'd been beaten up and black eye. And she said, who's done that to you? And I said, the police. And she said, right. And then she was on our side from then on. Norman Strike's picketing led to his arrest and imprisonment. More than 11,000 arrests were made for alleged offences linked to the minor strike. Anne Scargill made her first appearance in court, charged with obstruction. Mrs Scargill was in the witness box for 35 minutes and she denied almost every detail given by the police of her arrest outside Silverhill Colliery. She told the magistrates, I was very frightened, the police seemed very hostile. And they took me into a small room, very small this room. And I got in there and there's a policewoman with me. And she said to me, come on, get undressed. I says, pardon? She says, get undressed. I says, what for? And there were a bath outside, I thought. I says, I'm not dirty. She says, get undressed. So, I just looked and, do you know, it was terrible. I says, do you know I'm old enough to be your mother? She says, I'm only doing my job. I says, yes, Lord, that's what they said in Nazi Germany. When they were taking Jews to be slaughtered, they were only doing the job. Are you going to celebrate? She was cleared of all charges. When we've won the strike, yes. The police began protecting miners who worked during the strike. Flying pickets made an appearance. We soon realised there was no need to pick at our pit because nobody was, was even thinking of going in. So we left a few people on permanent duty at the pit and then we started to branch out to try and bring other pits around the area out as well. And then once Durham was solid, um, we tried to go to Nottingham, but we were stopped. In Nottinghamshire, the coal board says 24 of the 25 pits are working, despite about 1,400 pickets. Officers have been busy stopping cars since dawn. About 150 vehicles have been sent back to Yorkshire, most of them carrying at least four passengers. I was happy, yeah. Over the moon. Delighted. Yeah, Jim, of course you can have it. Jack Charlton became an unlikely hero to the pickets. Their cars were known to the police, so they borrowed his. I mean, and the next thing I knew, a police had knocked on the door and said they'd found my car parked somewhere in workshop. And uh, was I aware of what I was doing, that I was giving a car to... And I said, yeah, of course I was. I don't think the police were too pleased about it, but they couldn't do anything about it either. I suppose it was me thinking at least I made a contribution to a strike which involved the people that I grew up with. <laughs> 